Hi all, good morning. So today we will see about the type of gearbox used in the tractor industry. So totally sliding mesh type of gearbox, constant mesh and synchro mesh. There are three type of gearbox used in the generally in the uh, Indian tractors. So let us have a, a look on that one by one. The first one is the sliding mesh gearbox. So this is sliding mesh gearbox where uh, there will be one input, this is engine side and there are two outputs. So this output is to V and this output is for PTO. So in this gearbox, this is main shaft and this is counter shaft. The gear arrangements are like this. So the gears of counter shaft and main shaft not in mesh generally, normally. So whenever we are shifting the gear, whenever we are moving the shifting lever, the coupler is connected to the gear gears. So this coupler is connected to this main shaft gear, it's an integral part. So whenever we are shifting the gear, the entire gear will try to come and engage with this gear, counter shaft gear. RPM of these two gears are different, but still we are trying to engage this gears main. What will happen? The gear to gear, there is a more possibility of gear to gear clashing. So that will make hot shifting, noisy shifting and chance for gear deep damage is much higher. So, so this gearbox is having these drawbacks. So that's why we are not using in our current power track and farm track tractors. So many of our competitors uh, are using this sliding mesh. Next one is the constant mesh type of gearbox. Here, the main shaft gear and the counter shaft gear, you can have a look here. The main shaft gear and counter shaft gear, these two gears are constantly in mesh. In between two gears, even in between these two also, or in between here also, you can see there is one coupler. Coupler and this is the sleeve of this coupler. So this coupler is placed in between. Whenever we are shifting the gear, only the coupler is going and engaging with the dock teeth of the gear. This gears will come with the dock teeth. The sleeve will engage with the dock teeth so that speed of the gear is transferred to the coupler then coupler speed is transferred to output shaft. So entire gear is not sliding here in this case. So only the coupler is going and engaging with the dock teeth of every gear. So smooth shifting is ensured, less noise will be there and life of the gears also much better. That is why most of our models we are using constant mesh gearbox. There is one more type of gearbox available in the tractors that is synchro mesh. So this synchro mesh is, we can say it's a improved version of the constant mesh. Primary shaft and secondary shaft, in both this shaft, gears are meshing actually, constantly in mesh. But in between these two gears, again here also there is a coupler, but this coupler is called as synchronizer. This unit is called as synchronizer coupler or synchronizer. So in this, in this synchronizer you can find there is one ring gear. So this is a synchronizer unit. There will be a one ring gear and as well as this is the cone. This part is the cone of the gear. I am just showing it to you. This cone is a part of a gear, this ring is a part of a synchronizer. Once we are engaging the gear, during the engagement initially the ring will come and contact with this cone, taper surface. So it will synchronize the speed of synchronizer and as well as the gear. Since the speeds are equal, as a next stage while we are shifting, first ring is having the contact with the cone, second is synchronizer sleeve will engage with this dot teeth. So what is the advantage? Smooth shifting is ensured because it's sinking the speed first then its gear is getting in encased. Smooth shifting is ensured, less noisy. So this is generally used in uh, higher end uh, tractors. We are using in some of our models. So this is about all the three type of gearbox generally used in the tractors. Thanks for watching. Subscribe our YouTube channel to get more such videos. Thank you.